How's it going today guys? Aaron Teal with Intune Marine here. And Christmas came early this year. That's right, I'm standing in front of the new DVX 20S from Vexus Boats, all new for 2024. Beautiful color scheme here. I call this Snow Leopard. But we're gonna go over some awesome new stuff here. The new windshield, we've got a Minn Kota Quest here. And this is the best layout in multi-species fishing and skiing. So let's take a closer look. So we all know the Vexus family and, and where they came from and, and building boats one at a time the right way is something they've always been good at. And this DVX 20S, it's running that DVX 20 hull, that DVX hull, we've come to know and love and they're using Infusion to build these boats and we've got some other videos on that so you've maybe seen that but this boat is designed to ride like a spaceship and this hull, it's got a 19 degree dead rise, it's got a convex. Uh, chisel underneath so this boat's gonna land soft and ride Amazing no matter what wave conditions you run uh, the boat has a hard time spearing waves and absolutely crushes them like a battleship and if your wife doesn't feel safe and in, in that old tin boat or that current boat you have I promise that you know this is the safest boat on the water and it's almost 21 feet it's just shy of 21 feet and We've got a 300 on the back of this. We've got it maxed out, that's what it's rated for. This is a Mercury Pro XS V8 four stroke. And then we've got a kicker plate on here. Uh, the 20 foot class seems to run a 9.9 or a 15 horse kicker, whichever you prefer. At Into Marine, the guys here can put that on for you. And awesome, just intricacies around this boat. We've got a built-in stainless steel boarding ladder. We've got an access hatch back here, which makes it really nice after a long day trolling or you know a long day fishing, just to be able to shut everything down and open everything up. So we've got a power switch here, remote drain plug, and then your charging port to plug your boat in at the end of the day, all in one spot. So you don't have to climb back up into the boat when you're done. Nice beefy stainless grab handle here. So this boat is built to get in and out and be convenient for you every time you use it. So Vexus, they build all their stuff in-house. That's something unique, including their trailers. Not a lot of manufacturers build their own trailers in-house. So the trailer company is the same as the boat company and everything's convenient on this boat. They think of little details that you don't typically find, uh, including kind of this arm here that extends these boat buckle tie bonds out so that strap doesn't chafe that fiberglass when you use it. I mean, small detail, but makes a big difference. Along with that, you know, you've got matching fiberglass fenders to match the beautiful boat here. 17 inch rims, standard, and these guys are using torsion axles. So most trailers are, are leaf spring trailers, and you really notice a difference when you're towing a Vexus boat down the road, down the freeway. Um, it's quiet, it's smooth, easy to tow, and they stand behind everything that they build at Vexus. And this is a C-channel trailer. We've got a nice DLX winch and jack a pivoting trailer step, but ultimately awesome trailers on these boats, but let's go look inside because this cockpit is truly something special. One thing that's kind of special about Vexus boats that's very unique in the boat building industry is, you know, they're constantly evolving and improving and they already built the best and beefiest windshield in the industry. And typically, if it's not broke, people don't fix it. But Vexus, they're always looking forward, always wanting to do better. And they've made the best windshield in the industry even better. Let me show you. So they've got a basically beefier channels here everywhere. And we've always known how strong these windshields are. I mean, you can cancel your gym membership because these windshields, they'll work for a pull-up bar. I'm sure you can do some angled yoga push-ups of some sort, but I don't know how that works. And a couple other things. They've got this holder here, so this door isn't gonna blow out on you. Really makes it nice. And this, these hinges here, they really don't swing with the wind. So you'll notice, like, I can hold this door right here and it's not gonna, so that's kinda nice. And then we've got new badging on the side, so it's dead sexy and you know it. And 
they light up at night, so you can let everybody know too. But we've always known that there's quality built in these boats. These fiberglass consoles really add a lot of structural integrity to this windshield. And this windshield is fastened to this boat different than most of them. Most windshields, they're screwed to the consoles, which are then fastened to the boat. Well, the consoles are placed on top of the boat. There's a T-structure right here that provides a lot of structural support. And then the windshield is also put on top of the boat. And then there's one fastener right here on the console. So that whole windshield structural integrity isn't relying on those individual consoles put in the boat. So these guys have really found a nice mousetrap, if you will, for this situation. So if you fish big water on Lake of the Woods, Leech Lake, Mille Lacs, make sure you got a Vexus windshield. So here's where the real magic is in the DVX-20S. Typically, when you go to a fish and ski, more open platform like this, the issue with serious fishermen like you and me is we're sacrificing a lot of storage and that's hard to do, but yet this room, if you're trolling planer boards, you know, if you're a big troller, this room makes a huge difference in your ability to just get around the boat throughout the day when pandemonium happens, when the third planer board goes up over here. Or if you've got six people in the boat, let's say, you know, you're, you're a good American family and you've got the kids, you've got the wife, you've got maybe a couple of their friends. So you've got six seats in this boat, but I mean, if you have six seats in the boat, but you have a bunch of equipment with it, you don't have a lot of walking space. So what Vexus did here is they've allowed you to have all those seats, but they've also figured out how to maximize your walking space while doing that. So you don't have to trip over a bunch of stuff around the boat like you typically would in most multi-species fish and ski platforms. So they've added these in-floor storage boxes that really make a world of difference with that. And also a convenient spot for your batteries. So you're gonna notice an open platform, but you're also gonna notice a ton of storage underneath this platform. And we've got one, two, three, four battery trays, but you can fit up to five batteries in here with a charger. So that's all in one spot. We've seen it on a lot of boats where those trolling motor, some of the batteries are up under that rod locker. And if, if you happen to have an issue, you gotta pull all your rods out just to get to those batteries. Well, right here, they're all in one spot. So you're able to address any electrical issues, which we don't see a lot of, but awesome storage hatches over here that provide a ton of storage without sacrificing your cockpit space. So that's really, that's really what it boils down to. And you know, there's a lot of cheap ways to do things and Vexus doesn't do any of those. You'll notice even with the trim around these side compartments, they're using powder coated aluminum and they're finishing these out with carpet. And even on the sides of this boat, that EVA badging is absolutely beautiful. But in the rear here, with these flip up jump seats, that's probably one of the cooler things we've seen from them. So you've got jump seats or a big rear fishing platform. So you can cast or fish off of this. And these jump seats, they're very comfortable and they really lift up nicely. So let's say this is a rear fishing platform and you're fishing and you need to get into this. Well, on most boats, you need to lift this up, then this up, but with this boat, these are all fiberglass and you can just grab that, grab your stuff and get back to fishing. One other unique thing you'll notice between these rear jump seats is these live walls. There's two doors on them. So you walleye fishermen, you, know, you don't need to worry. There's a divider in here. So if you've got a really big walleye or a, a big pike or something like that, this divider comes out so you can fit that, you know, fish in without kinking it or anything like that. But the reason they did this was A, for your grandma, B, you get a seat pedestal right here, along with your ski toe bar and your pliers and stuff. So they didn't want you to have to walk all the way up there to grab your pliers if you land in a fish back here. So put everything in a nice spot and this is all EVA. So you're gonna notice there's not a lot of carpet in here. Those 1970s shed carpet days, they're over baby. This is EVA rubber, it's gonna dry quick, easy to keep clean. This is the best layout in multi-species fishing, ladies and gentlemen.
So we just looked at the new windshield, the spacious layout without sacrificing any storage, and right here, this is the comfiest place to be in North America if you're a fisherman. And right here, I'm sitting in your fishing buddy spot or your wife's spot, and either way, it's a comfy seat. So what I'm sitting in is the deluxe upgraded chairs from Vexus. So this is an upgrade. Standard would be a standard fold down seat. But what you're gonna notice when you sit in these chairs, you've got plenty of leg room. Seats are comfy as heck. We've got airwave pedestals in this boat, which is gonna protect your back and be a literal shock absorption, you know, for if you were to hit that wave wrong. But not only is this hull gonna ride good, but those airwave pedestals, they're gonna knock it out of the park. So got those solid consoles, a big glove box, dual story glove box. So you can put your keys up top, other things on the bottom. Stuff isn't getting lost in here because they put two shelves on it. It's a pretty nice touch. Honey gets to control the stereo if your wife or your fishing buddy or it hooks up to Bluetooth and you can control that right from your phone there. But we've got a phone charging station here and a nice zero gravity drawer here. So we all have those favorite baits for that tournament we don't want anyone to see. That go nicely here. You can fit 3,700 Planos in this, or you know, if your wife needs a spot to put her purse before it rains, whatever it might be, you can put it in here. It's got that zero gravity hinge, so it's easy open, easy close, and lockable. So, also gives you a nice spot to put your feet and brace up a little bit, and if, if you're in a little bit rougher chop, and then next to us here, they've got a nice spot for your ski toe bar, and then as well as all your fishing rods, all of them. Tips or butts first, it's very ambidextrous over here. And then uh, on your way up to the front deck, you can always grab a cold one, whatever that might be. It's got a Yeti style cooler right here, it fastens in, you can take it in and out of the boat. Um, and it holds ice for one to, one to five days, if you prime it up. And it also makes for a nice step getting to and fro the back deck. Now we're hopping in the dad seat here. This thing is comfy as heck, just like that one, because it's the same seat. But what you're gonna notice is you've got plenty of leg room, and the sight lines when you're driving this boat are, are extremely good in the facet where you can look below or above the windshield. You know, if you get a foggy morning and that windshield gets some condensation on it, you're able to look above this windshield and not have the wind hit you in the forehead, which is a really nice feature, especially if you're dealing with that, because they don't make windshield wipers for these things, and if they do, they wouldn't work that good. We've got an Italian leather wrap steering wheel here, and then Vexus, their dash, is about as amazing as it gets. They built a spot for two graphs to be flush mounted, up to 12 inches. So I've got a Solix 10 here, and if you don't opt for two graphs, they put a nice cubby hole, a nice glove box here for you know, a pair of gloves or any extra stuff you need to keep on hand nearby. So along with that, we've got gauges. We've got a tilt steering wheel. Full control of our live wells, our interior lights, our nav lights, our horn, our bilge, et cetera, et cetera, all of that stuff. Our kicker motor, we've got dual harness here for that matching no cheapness on the kicker harness which is nice to see and another storage box right here for some more secret stuff or to me this makes for a really nice trash bin you can kind of put a bag as a liner in here to you know keep the boat clean keep the boat nice so and the big thing is there's beefy fiberglass consoles on here beefy windshield beefy everything so when you drive this boat you're not gonna have a lot of vibration in the steering wheel. So it really feels solid when you drive it. And you know, I can explain it to you all I want, but until you experience something like this, you'll understand what I'm talking about because there's not a boat that drives like it. And it's nimble, it's fast, but um, yeah, I've probably rambled enough about this cockpit. Let's, uh, let's check out some of the front deck features because uh, it's pretty nice up there. You know, there's days where you go fishing, but there's days like the 4th of July, or if you've got a cabin in northern Minnesota, Wisconsin, wherever it might be, where you just take the family out and enjoy the lake, you're enjoying the water, that's what we do. Um, and Vexus, they, they kept that in mind. So we've got these super comfortable bow cushions up here. So uh, you can catch a suntan on this fishing platform comfortably. And these remove easily. So 
yeah, makes it comfortable to lay down, but you know, if you need to throw the change up and go fishing, there's snaps on the bottom, they snap in and snap out very easily. And as a fishing platform up here, this front deck is massive. So not only is it gonna work great for, you know, the kids getting a tan or what have you, but it's gonna provide you a ton of space for fishing. You know, if you are live scoping up front, you can fish two guys up here throwing ripping wraps, jigging wraps, whatever it might be, side by side, and not hitting each other in the face, which is really nice. But we've got the new Minn Kota Quest on this boat, which is the all new brushless trolling motor from Minn Kota. So this is not only gonna be the best in iPilot and spot lock technology, but this is gonna be a beefy chassis designed for rough water with the ability to really attach live scope on the shaft if you wanna do that. And it's got a built-in transducer right there. So this Humminbird, we can understand what's going on beneath us. And Vexus, they build their own mount. So we've got a nice beefy aluminum mount here to hold two graphs. So we'd stack another one on top of that. We're good to go. And then you just look around the little intricacies of the boat. There's not a lot of plastic pieces or cheap stuff that's you know gonna break and fail. And ultimately, these boats, they're an investment. And what this stuff kind of transfers to is resale. So Vexus, they, they really build these boats from scratch, but they build them with really quality components. So even those small little details around the boat, those things are built to last, which transfers to resale. This is a comfortable, spacious platform and it's built to withstand the test of time and many awesome days and memories on the water. There it is. This is the 2024 Vexus DVX-20S. We looked at the new windshield, the new Quest, spacious layout with plenty of storage. 300 ponies on the back. But at the end of the day, a product's only as good as a dealership that stands behind it. So it's important that when you're looking for a new boat, that you, you get it from a fisherman, a guy who knows what the heck he's talking about, understands the accessories that go on it, uh, what it's gonna do in rough water, what it's gonna do in calm water, how it's gonna turn, all of those things. So reach out to our sales staff. We've got Brian here at Intune, who's very knowledgeable about these boats, but you also want a good service department. And this dealership here, Into Marine, was founded on service. So you're gonna get the best mechanics north of the Mason-Dixon and the best rigging department north of the Mason-Dixon when you choose a boat at Into Marine. So whatever you do, make sure you buy a boat from people you trust and people who know what the heck they're doing. And very lucky to be representing Into Marine and Vexus Boats today. I'm Aaron Teal with Into Marine, and we'll see you at the lake.